This video provides guidance on what to do when you see an error message appear on your TierLab device and or receive a below range reading after performing a test. This video will walk through the steps you can take to triage the problem. For errors E51, E53, E56, or E57, check the following. Confirm that the pins are fully charged, indicated by a solid non-flashing battery icon located on the upper corners of the reader LCD when the pin is docked in the reader. If they are not fully charged, the battery icon will be flashing on and off. Recharge the pin battery by leaving the pin docked in the reader with the reader turned on for one hour. Also, as a reminder, ensure the reader remains on 24 hours, 7 days a week with the pins docked in the cradle to ensure the pin batteries are always fully charged. The battery icon must be visible on the display of the reader for the pins to be charging. Only when you are certain that the pin is fully charged, reset the pin with the magnet by using either the magnetic pin sleeve or the magnet on the side of the test card tray. Next, test the pins using an electronic check card. If the error message continues to display on the screen or continues to occur over time, please call TierLab Technical Support. You may also see a below range error on the TierLab reader after performing a patient test. A below range error sometimes occurs when the capillary channel in the test card is partially filled during the collection due to pecking at the eye. This is a common issue for those that are trying to collect a tear sample, do not hear an immediate beep from the pin, and withdraw the pin and re-enter the tear lake for another try at collection. This results in two partial fills of the channel, creating an air gap in between, leading to a below range reading. This most often occurs with your driest patients and difficult collections. You should always perform another collection with a new test card if you obtain a below range reading. As a reminder, when a patient has very little tear fluid, the collection can be more difficult as the tear meniscus may actually be below the margin of the eyelid. In these difficult collection cases, first lower the test card flat on the eyelid and press down further on the eyelid with the pin to bring the bottom of the test card in contact with the tear meniscus. Although you should never pull the eyelid away from the eye with your hand, you may use the pin to press the eyelid downward to bring the tip of the test card in contact with the tear meniscus. If you still do not get a collection, do not remove the test card, but slightly brush the test card laterally along the eyelid, just one to two millimeters left and right. Take care not to touch the eye itself and stay away from the cornea. This brushing technique allows tear collection from even the driest patients. If you are continuing to have difficulty with testing, please contact your tear lab sales representative or call technical service at 858-455-6006 and follow the prompts.